Hello, hello my sweet friends. I really hope you will stay to watch this creative process. What a challenge this canvas was. Halfway down I was petrified if I ever actually finish it, if it's gonna be good, if it's worth to even showing it to you, but I was keep on going, just trying out, trying out, experimenting and happy accidents do pays off. I hope this canvas will show you that do not ever give up on any artwork you are doing. Believe in yourself and just imagine that beautiful art is possible. You just have to believe it, keep going it and you never know how things will turn out. I love this canvas to bits. Uh, this was a crazy process in a way and I really hope you will watch it. It's worth it. It's a great lesson on many levels. So I invite you to watch uh, and craft with me. Maybe if not this canvas, you can do something else while I chat and paint and do things. <laughs> I hope you will stay with me um, and enjoy it. I love you. Have fun. <laughs> Hello, hello my sweet friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Merta here and look what we have, Marami Mystery World Challenge. Do you remember, we have been opening boxes and making gorgeous, gorgeous art with goodies sent by you. I have another box here to share, let's open it uh, together. There's few more left and you know what, I just looked at the date and I could not believe it that it is actually Emily what's 11 in English uh, September October oh um, November? November yeah it's from November last year can you guess that okay let's see that this person is from it's from Inge, from Netherlands, from Holland. And we have this gorgeous also Santorini stamp, which is super pretty. Marami's World Challenge, Marami's Mystery World Challenge. So, woohoo, here it is to Martin Emily. Okay, let me just take this off because Emily, oh, this one is also to you. And look how beautifully packed. Uh, it's nearly a year. I hope you, you know why things are this way. We've been busy with million things and I just had to kind of put certain things aside to be able to accomplish other things. I hope you can understand that. Oh, look at this, sending hugs and a happy like thought. It's such a stunning card. Oh no, it's not even... Ah, oh, the camera doesn't show. It is so gorgeous. Dear Marta and Emily, for your world challenge, I've picked out a little bit of everything. Some were from a budget store and some more expensive and I had double. I would love to see what you make of it and... If, if you, you can't use it, I'm sure Emily will. <laughs> <laughs> I love your inspirational Fresh videos video. and your sweet family. Lots of love from... Inge. Inge. I really hope Inge that you're watching this video because it's been a year so I hope you're still watching. Mm -hmm. so, so let's open that Emily. Card is absolutely gorgeous. It's gonna go. It's very bright um, lamps today. It will go today on my desk, on my uh, shelf behind me. Oh, that's so pretty. How pretty it's packed. Let's see Emily. That is so exciting. OMG, Emily. I don't know where to begin. Okay, I think we can just... Wow. I'm not even sure where to begin. This is so exciting. I love this. I love this. I know that because I know the uh, deco time um, and I had some b b b b butterflies from those and these are flowers and, bu feathers. and feathers. So gorgeous. So look at mm -hmm. that. Super, super, super pretty. I love that. What else we have there? Let's have a look. Knife 
and covers. Oh, oh, that's for the pan pastels for this thing. I have them. I should be using them, but I just never did. So maybe I should. Maybe I should. I have a few more actually. I'll show you if I can find them quick. I will show you if I cannot find it quick. I won't. <laughs> I have it. Look. I have some and I've never used them. Not even once, I That's think. Or oh, maybe once. One. Maybe I touched it, but really. So I think it's high time to actually go to Pan Pastel and just try them out for the first time. They are like a little bit like, um, sorry, like a powdery thing. So you put these things, you put on these that. things on that and you can smudge, mm -hmm. smudge around. What do we have? Gold leaf sheet, six sheets. Wow, this is for putting things on the glue and it just kind of stays in. I love that. Mm -hmm. Arkusze złotych liści, a tutaj jest napisane arkusze srebrnych liści. Mm -hmm. So silver leaf sheets, gold leaf sheets, srebrne i złote liście. Może zacznę mówić po polsku. What do you think? Maybe we'll start speaking <laughs> Polish. <laughs> Actually, uh, many of you have mentioned that you like hearing uh, things in Polish language. So maybe I'll start. Może właśnie zaczniemy mówić troszkę bardziej po polsku in Polish a little bit more. Um, we have some beautiful sprays. Loving this set color. Of course. <laughs> of course it's too. But I love this one, delicate pink yeah. as well. But funny enough, these are acrylic. So are they not perm are they drying permanent? Are they what? I hope I, I hope they're not out of date or anything just because we I haven't opened <laughs> the pack. No, they're moving, I see. So wow, I'll be very interested to check them out. What mm -hmm. you think, Emmy? Yeah. Mm. What's in there? Do you want to check? I don't know. Some bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. Oh, die cuts! I love them! <gasps> no way! So we have some tickets. What's that? It's like a little camera. Or like a little something. Mm -hmm. Wow! We have... I love them. I love yeah. them. We have some die cut elements. From like cardboard? Yes! I love that smell. It's, yeah. um, I don't know, I just <laughs> love it. I love, love, love crowns. I'm a huge fan of crowns. I use them too little. I really do. Yeah. What's that? A heart. You think so? Yes, <laughs> such a quirky. Oh, I love that. I love that. Oh, what's on the other side, Ems? On that heart. Oh. So it's um, cut and it's also embossed. Mm -hmm. Really fun looking. I love, I really, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I really, really love, and we have some some arrows and this Keys. kind of thing. Oh, there's yeah. like a tag. Super pretty. And butterfly wings. Aww. Wow. We have something else here. More die cuts. Wow, mm -hmm. this is like a... This is not like cardboard, this is like, hmm, I don't know, I actually don't know the material, anyway, <laughs> it's fun. Some tickets. Pan pastels are inside here, I just read, no way. <gasps> Wait a second, we have to see, I hope we didn't double the colors, oh, no, actually it's opened, <laughs> oh. No way, I don't think I've seen this color, so no, I think we have the black one indeed, but that's okay, black is always good in use. We have those colors, and I think that's extra sauve. No, that's different, that's raw umber. Oh, and that one is black, so wow, we haven't doubled it. Oh wow, we'll definitely have to use them out now. The second one. <laughs> That's bright. I like that. Mm-hmm. And? <gasps> yes, oh, different wow, colors. Oh, wow, different colors. No way. Oh, yeah. This one is the same. Yeah, it's no, different. it's different. Yeah, is it's it? different. Mm -hmm. Let's read. Definitely 100%. No, I can't read. I can't. Or maybe I don't want to break it's, This one is green shade. <laughs> yellow, yellow X dark. Dyrel. Wow. No way that you have managed to... 
<laughs> Send a different, totally different it's color. Very so Unbelievable. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. We have to we use have to that. Try them. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm kind of speechless right now because mm -hmm. looking at that, I don't know where to begin with the sprays because we have another spray, Delusion Teal. You know me, like, look at the colors beautiful teals and blacks this is these are my colors like so you know exactly what colors i love thank you so so very much inge all of the teals blues oh i love it are you trying to open them up no, I'm let me just i wonder if we can actually stick those inside here emmy at least some of them yes oh. were there not three more we can look uh -huh. But look, if we open this up, yeah. oh, we can in general stock them together like this. F super fun. Okay, nice. So we can just yeah. close something up. Oh, okay. I like these. Wait. Mm -hmm. Maybe and I'll do this. like that. And All this. Of them? No, no, just, just a few indeed. This one has no lid on this that's one. That's okay. On this one. I think that's okay. Do they dry out? No. Oh. <laughs> they're like, yeah, they're very pigmented. They are like eyeshadowy kind of thing, I believe. Okay, so that's what we have. What else is there? Mm, we have these kind of clear. Oh, beautiful. Stickers. I, are they stickers or are they just. No, they no, are just kind a foil. Of just plastic. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. Tags, plastic tags. There is. We have some numbers and loads of them actually <laughs> um letters so dream giggle love wish all the beautiful words i love them letters and numbers gorgeous and we have some of papers yes tissue paper oh this oh, one this is, is gorgeous. probably for oh that's the decoupage decoupage actually yes oh wow Oh, wow. This That's this acrylic. one? Mm. Wow. Okay. So, I'm just trying to put my mind into it what we're gonna do because there's so many and this one will be left especially aside because it's for Christmas. So, wow. Uh, oh, paper craft. Wow, look it at this sent gorgeous. Before Christmas. Yes, it was. So, we're gonna use it this this and Christmas. Are, How perfect. Oh, the stickers. These are transfer stickers with the stick. They're not stickers, they yeah, are rubbons, of kind of, a little different, so it's like a tattoo-ish kind yeah. of thing. Beautiful designs, and shall we check this one here? Should we open it at all, or do we see it here? Oh, oh. so we have double-sided paper, we have double-sided paper more, stickers, tags, and die-cut paper. Oh, wow, we are going to be... And five jingle bells. <laughs> and, and a rope. Yeah. On the rope. We will be doing. Look at those. We will be doing. I love the scheme. The color scheme is your colors. Very much indeed. Gray. Very much. <laughs> of course. <laughs> wow, such a pretty collection. Yes. We will be using that. So thank you so much for sending all of this. It's so crazy. I don't know where to begin and what to use first because we have tons of mediums. I'm trying to think of all of this mixture. What a beautiful selection thank you thank you thank you so much i'm gonna be putting things aside have a think about what we're gonna make because i don't know i think we should do a canvas or because we have those gorgeous elements like tons of 3d elements imagine that and color it with the beautiful pan pastel mm -hmm. and sprays <gasps> mixed together That's a good idea. i think so so yeah let's do that I will be doing two projects together. The first I started with uh, background and um, uh, covering our actual, where my scissors, actual uh, pages with gesso and now we're gonna do something with this canvas. So the video, I'm recording it together but it's gonna be two separate video for you to watch so whichever you're watching canvas then watch out for the journal page or if you're watching journal page watch out for the canvas, right? And where do we begin? I have those 
3D-ish elements, like the collage elements. I think these are absolutely fabulous and I really, really think it would be so amazing to actually use them. I have no idea how yet, zero, <laughs> I have no clue, but I feel it could be so, so nice. Um, I think we could start with basically gluing down uh, our letters, so that's what I'm going to do. And I will grab my mm, gel medium, I will, mm, I'm thinking to make a background from these letters, imagine that. Imagine the background from these letters, there's tons of them and the numbers as well. So I think we could just make this nice background. So that's what I will do. I'm going to cover up my canvas with gel medium, like a generous amount of gel medium. And I will glue down my letters. I don't know, randomly or not, we shall see. Let me just put a nice amount of gel medium and then we can add the elements, mm -hmm. add our letters and numbers and I think this could be so cute actually. So let's see, these are quite tiny, oh that's so nice. I'm gonna do random of course, no, no words, nothing like that. I'm just gonna go for like a, oopsie, like a random bat. No, we need a bit more. I was thinking that. Random, but you will see for yourself that it's um, it's probably gonna have some sort of some sort of um, composi random composition. That makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so number M, uh, letter M, to begin with. <laughs> How original. Uh, I'm just thinking that I will. I'm, I'm, I will be, look, I'll be grabbing them just as they are, numbers or letters, and just building it up, going up, down and all, we shall see, but that's, I think that's already looking great, okay, so I'm not totally looking, I'm not looking at all at what I'm grabbing, I'm just literally taking, um, as it goes. So we may fit in elements here and there. Wow, I love that. So far, so gorgeous. So far, so beautiful. Oh, please don't move. And I think I'm gonna leave this overnight, let it dry and we come back to it tomorrow or something like that. Mm, I think. That's the thing, that's the plan. Maybe, maybe. Oh, sorry. That was Lucas. <laughs> I think he was just trying to be very quiet and it just didn't work. <laughs> Extra noises from the kitchen. Um, I'm thinking to start now here. And I hope this will hold enough like I hope this will hold enough but that looks really good and you know what I don't mind that there's tons of gel medium left because really it's gonna be oops it's gonna be uh, dry and it's gonna be like an extra texture so that's okay f with me that's okay with me as you can tell I'm not really concentrating on any sort of design. How I grab it nearly, that's how it goes. Unless I feel something special to something I don't like. Maybe. <laughs> well, sometimes I can say no to things. Why not? Mm. H again. Is it H for Hannah? <laughs> H for Hannah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there we go. I love that, guys. It looks really good. It looks really, really, really good. Really nice. So I'm thinking to 
start thinking of thinking of thinking. I'm thinking to start thinking of the actual uh, composition. I wonder should I have like um, some letters spreading around like here for example and there maybe like this and that because why not? I think it looks great actually so I may do something quite similar here Mhm. Mm there we go super so it's like we kind of leaving middle part empty-ish I guess accidentally that's how it turns out to be Mhm. Mm I love that If you heard that bang, that was Emily <laughs> in her room, still still not asleep. School tomorrow. She's getting ready for school, I guess. Mm -hmm. I think it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I have no clue what direction this is going to be taking us, but I like that. I like that. I like that. So I'm gonna leave this till to dry for t till tomorrow, and hopefully we're gonna have some oops answers by tomorrow. What's next step? And yeah, and I'll chat to you tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, back to you for two seconds. I just looked at those quickly, and I felt like wow, these are so nice. They could be glued down even now when we have our canvas still wet with the with the gel medium you know mm -hmm. that's quite nice I like that so it's like a building even extra texture. I'm looking if there's anything else I have missed here from the texture point of view, but I think not. We have the elements. This is for afterwards. Perfect. I think this is lovely looking. Um, anything else? Crowns, maybe not so much this time, uh, but this is like a butterfly wings, isn't it? These are. That's so cute. We can grab it somehow something something so let's leave this to dry and we'll be back tomorrow hello hello I'm back after two two days I think new inspiration came to my mind I was looking through the things and I found this gorgeous tissue paper which is very rusty looking and then I felt that this gold could actually match up this we have some vintagey papers but I don't know and we also have this kind of orangey elements. You know what? Let's see. Maybe something will actually be good. Let's see. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably make a little bit of a mixture with the actual um, gold and this tissue. I'm not too sure what to do first. I believe I'm gonna jump in with the white gesso to start with and I'm gonna add some if I have any clean brush because that's a trouble always with me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, yeah this is not the uh, most fluffy, that's okay. Uh, so I'm gonna just go on with my white gesso everywhere even on the background because the background is right now a transparent gel medium dried and any color none of the color would really co hold on on it and as acrylics but I'm not, I wouldn't even be sure of that so really mm, to have a tooth kind of to have this sort of possibility of color to hold on that you can just easily color with watercolors with anything you wish what a uh, gesso like white gesso transparent gesso is your best friend it's really something for you to use a lot of times to basically bring uh, your canvas to kind of start a point where you can just basically add any color any medium you only wish to have so this is what I'm doing right now 
I'm adding white gesso so everything is gonna be nice uh, unified uh, white and it's just gonna be way easier to look uh, for the next steps I think so that's what we're gonna do of course I'm gonna dry that but before I dry it I just wonder about that foil I'm not an expert <laughs> in using foil but I think I'm gonna chance it and I may I think that I may just grab a little bit of um, foil and just go on the letters I'm thinking of those wet wet white gesso wet letters hoping that things are not dry yet so they may actually glue down I don't know we'll just see you know I think we just should see um, where this is gonna take us so I'm just on the side looking where it's shiny where I haven't put my <laughs> white gesso on yet and making sure that it's everywhere ish everywhere ish you can always repeat if it's not happening so let's see let's get that foil out you need a glue but I think maybe without the glue maybe it's still possible I don't know let's have a look ah. wow okay so I do have to open it up is it <laughs> I thought that I don't have to open it up but I do oh Ginny Mac Ginny Mac okay let's see what's gonna happen with this <gasps> it's breaking okay two seconds let's be more gently Marta <laughs> uh, I don't know I don't know yes I was thinking that this is actually gonna stick and glue to really any surface you wish what I will do I'm gonna just I have a little, an, a little idea so I'm gonna grab some of that with the foil on it and just there we go <laughs> okay maybe that's a little too much that's okay we'll do something about it we will see where this will where this will stick and all oh it's coming everywhere I probably do it all wrong but that's okay you probably need a glue is it you tell me you tell me I'm probably doing it all wrong but that's okay we're here to experiment, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that actually. I'm not too sure what direction this goes whatsoever, but I like that. I think I'm gonna dry this as it is, hoping that this most of the things will stick. If not, we try glue next time. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna dry this and get back to you shortly. Mm, my foil kind of stick, not so much, but that's okay. We're still in the working process. And mm, I could have used this before I glue it down elements. That's okay. We will try to work our magic around here. I'll see what's that what's going on here what we can do about it I'm not too sure if it's good at all but I'll try to do something here with that papers because I think these are gorgeous and deserve to be recognized and used so maybe some sort of touches of I don't know let's see let's see I don't know how um, they will actually act with the with the transparent gist and all we will see how is this gonna be and maybe here some transparent gesso here on the side would probably help as well mm-hmm 
There we go. I like that. We may have some. We may have some sort of. Um, I don't know. I don't want to say it yet, but some sort of like a. Uh, what's the word? Um, leather looking. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. I think this so far it's very challenging, but I think it's really good that it's challenging because it is giving me a purpose, a, a need for being creative, being courageous and trying things that I haven't used before or trying things the way that I haven't used them before. And I think that's great about this challenge where you have the uh, products that not necessarily are the ones that you have and know and know how to use and I think that's actually <laughs> beautiful. That's actually the beauty of it, so why not to just really try it out, really give it a chance of enjoying different sort of art. So I think it's nice, I think it's nice. It is challenging, you can probably hear in me that I am thinking of how to do this or that, but I think that's great as well. So here I am, trying out different things and seeing what we can do here or will I swap to um, to a different angle I don't know or oh, maybe like this actually mm-hmm to not cover too much of my letters and to be actually on the uh, on the side here do it again You may hear the washing <laughs> machine. Actually, washing is something that Lucas does. Well, Lucas does a lot of things. Recently, I realized that I just want. We are recording. I didn't even check. Uh, he does washing. He does a lot of food shopping. Uh, he does the dishwasher. Like, hmm, Marta, you're very lucky. <laughs> I am. I think I am. We just don't appreciate. I, I certainly don't appreciate him enough for what he does and what he's putting up with me, very honestly. Sometimes he jokes that not everyone can be with artists and you know what? It's a joke but it's a very valid point I would say, isn't it? It's gorgeous so far. Guys, it is gorgeous. And you know what's amazing about it? It is really not something I would typically do. And I, that's why I love it so much. Because I really, really wish to see where is this taking us right now, guys. Boys and girls. <laughs> A challenge, that is. And that's great. So thank you so, so much for sending me the goodies. By the way, I know that I'm still getting uh, askings about if you can send the goodies. And I say no to everyone because right now, uh, please don't take that any anything don't take that uh, in a personal way nothing like that we just have still so many packs to open that I simply ca wouldn't be fair to take any more because I really wish to open up all of those that have come so that's what I'm <laughs> trying to do so I hope you can respect that and understand that it's nothing personal it's nothing about you it's only about the fact that I just simply have no time and I've been <laughs> bombarded with the amount of supplies and um, and it's beautiful and I'm so grateful and I love it. I'm pressing and pushing guys because I really want to get that texture happening here as well. So I'm really happy, grateful and thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone who sent it so far and all. And we still have tones to open so if you're waiting for yours to be open, I'm sure it's there. <laughs> be patient, please be patient. Wow, it looks gorgeous. It looks really different and strange. I like that. I like that, like that. <clears throat> I like that. Mm -hmm. Well, we will see how is this all gonna turn out. It's gonna be very interesting process, I think, to observe for us all. <clears throat> Oh, this washing machine is very loud, at least for me. Cheers, everyone. And a sip of coffee. 
Wow, unbelievable. Love it. Love it so much. And I think I'm done here with it, believe it or not. But before, I'm gonna chance it again, grab the scissors, and see if now would be any sense. I don't, I just don't know, so I'm gonna check it. Uh, any sense of adding the, um, the gold foil right now to any of these. No, doesn't stay too much on that. No, that's okay. At least we tried. Oh, it's there. It's there. Oh, I love that. Whoa. Oh my. Oh my, 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 my. Love, 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 love. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, 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 no, no, not that much. Ginny Mac, this is really delicate element. <laughs> it's like a feather, gold feather, you know? Pretty crazy, I must say. Oh, wow. It's going there. Nice. Wow. I think a lot will be covered up this gold because of the actual color that I'm planning to add but still guys still let's just have it as it is right now we'll see I'm gonna just you know God, well, you know what I'm gonna just jump in a little bit with the transparent gesso over it you know just to maybe help it out to stick it to kind of be happy there I don't know I'll see but I'll, I'll, I'll add it I, it should ha kind of it, it's not gonna harm all it can do, it may help it to actually, um, to actually do something with the stickiness of it and keep it in place and be happy, happy on our gorgeous letters. I like that. Like, whew, it's really different. And I'm even now having a million thoughts of what I'm gonna do next I don't know I I think I'm gonna jump for some color some white gesso possibly that will kind of um, kill the lines the borders that we have now I don't know guys I don't know I really don't know mm-hmm Oh, the washing machine is quiet now. <laughs> wow, I love that. I love, love, love that. Very different, challenging, but it's looking so pretty in some places. It's just simply amazing. Okay, let's quickly ha give it a dry. Let's give it a dry and I'll be back to you. Everything seems to be dry and I'm going to be... Mm, I have these pan pastels. Do you remember in the box we got pan pastels? I don't know which colors were from our friend, but I'll see if we can match up anything and actually if any of that is gonna be wow it's gonna be any good to us to actually use. Wow. Now question is how this is actually um when we color it like how is this acting and how we actually keep this wow I love that how we actually keep this um, we need a little bit more brown how we actually keep this <laughs> Martha have in mind what you're trying to say I'm just thinking how do we actually uh, making sure because it's a powder to keep it in place I don't know that I have to come up with something I need to have a think about it but <laughs> it's really nice coloring wise it gives me this really nice effect and all but I just wonder will this wash off like is it permanent dry I don't think so but I could be wrong <sighs> what's written here should I use the, the little 
spatulas for it or can I just jump in with my finger and all? I hope that's okay. This looks really, really cool, I have to say. I don't know when the camera looks horrible because camera pick, picks up really strangely the colors and all. I don't know how it's picking right now. Not good to what I see. I hope you can see it way better than what I see right now. It's interesting to see that I can actually bring out the texture from underneath the paper. <laughs> very interesting, very interesting. Now we have the black. What else we have? We have the green. That could be interesting. What else we have? Oh, the gray one. Mm. We have the gray color. Okay. And what else we have? Something that would match up. Maybe that yellow, orange and yellow. That could be interesting, right? Mm hmm let's see. Oh, come on! <laughs> there we go. Different finger, I guess. <gasps> Look at that now! Whoa! How to set, how to set this? Do I have, I have the instruction. Apply color. We have an instruction of it. I've never ever in my life played with it. So, uh, professional artist quality soft pastel colors in a unique format. Cake like the special uh, paints for the first time uh, means that artists can blend apply pastel dry color paint for the first time. They are using unique manufacturer percent result in rich ultra soft pigment blending. Na 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 na. Fully erasable. The colors have excellent light fastness and are fully erasable. Okay, change my life. Da 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 da. -da. Apply tool. Da 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 da. -da. Tip for for custom metallics. Okay. Oh, there we go. Using lift the color. Apply the working surface. Reload tool with colors. Great mix. Create a data blocking. A great way to using pencils to lay down and under painting as a base painting with pan pastelos mixed media okay so what that's it these are erasable hmm so let's see I'm gonna take a wipe hmm. will this wipe off obviously it will right should have but let's try yeah it will wipe off I don't get it so should I do what to keep it like happy color in place but anyway I love the coloring so far so good so really nice um, I don't know how to keep the color forever like you know maybe spray hairspray maybe gel medium on top I can do that, no problem. Question is, will it work? Oh, a little bit of the green as well. Look at that. I guess the pan pastels maybe aren't designed fully to be like on the sticking out surface like that, more like a flat surfaces. I guess um, that would be my kind of thinking. But still, it is gorgeous what I see so let's work in it and let's not it's, it, the colors do blend in beautifully like let's not worry about it too much and let's just keep on going and we'll see where is that taking us and we you know we're just here to experiment and love it and love the process so let's not worry too much for the beginning well it just I think it's beautiful I really think it's beautiful I'm thinking as well of now white gesso how the white gesso would actually react with it let's see I'm having quite a lot of white gesso right now oh no it is reactive hugely that's okay let's go for it 
let's go for it. That's fine. That's fine. No panic if any of you is panicking. I'm not. That's okay. Look at that. By accident, <laughs> we are having actually something pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Look at the color blend. Unbelievable. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> Holy smokes! Like, seriously? Look at that! So I'm having my dump in gesso brush that is actually um, activating the pigment here. Genie macaroni, I love it! <laughs> I cannot believe my eyes right now. This is total pure accident what's happening and this is the most beautiful color blend on earth. Like literally, look at that. How beautiful play, how beautiful accidental sort of... Um, whoa, seriously guys, look at that. Yeah, okay, now the best would be to grab, not dirty my, obviously my um, gesso. So I'm gonna grab just so like here, mm-hmm, ah. and just having a play with more, maybe even more. Whoa! I cannot believe it. I think I can still probably. Whoa! Look at that. Genie Mac, I love it so much. Oh my, I'm in such such a shock right now. I'm gonna use a wet gesso here a lot because I don't want to kill my bright surface, which is already taken by. Um, but that's okay. We're still gonna keep the white surface. It's good, it's looking great actually. <sighs> wow. What can I say now? I am pretty speechless of what I see. Unbelievable. I'm really firm, I'm really strong with the actual pressing and all. Wow. This is out of this world. I love, love, love the blend of color. I love the accidental play. I love the mix, I just think it's gorgeous and I just think I'm gonna go back. Look at that now. <sighs> Genie Mac, look. Look at that. You're not... I, I, I'm speechless right now. Wow. You see guys, take some risks in art. <laughs> I know how it sounds. Just go for it just look I would not even million years imagine this may happen I didn't know what to expect I had no expectations actually and look at that it's stunning stunning really stunning look I'm sorry I'm really pressing firmly like I really um <gasps> One thing I didn't do is the sides, that's okay. We can still, oh, you can still do it with what I have on my brush. Wow. Would you know, would you believe it? Like, it's amazing. Oh my, oh my, 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 my. I'm gonna post a sneak peek to my patrons, well, not patrons, my uh, channel members because if you're channel member, you seeing sneak peeks of upcoming things, like you know, work in progress and things. <laughs> I have to send it to to them, so I'm gonna finish the sides here and take a photo and show it to them to sh to tease them <laughs> for the sneak peek of what's happening here and how different things can be. I I don't know what to tell you except. Please never ever give up on a project. Never ever think you it's like 
I don't know, that you cannot do it or you don't like it or you're not too sure or it's not my cup of tea or the colors or this or that. No, guys, look. I was really just go with the flow thing, having a play and hoping for the best, really. And I was having fun and challenge, which is really awesome. Oh, the colors are just spectacular. I love it. And it, the golds underneath it, it's so interesting as well. Could be more, but you know what? It's fine for what it was, how badly I applied it. <laughs> I think I did pretty good job. I will still grab another brush if I have because I didn't clean my brushes for ages and I'm gonna still have a touch a touch on my um on here. <laughs> I, no, this time I do not want too much of the white, a bit, but but I really not too much, no. Because I usually dry dressing every kinds of my work, and no, I really wish to keep this, this row kind of. I love the rawness of it, if that makes sense. I just love it. I'm so, I'm so loving this. I think I'm gonna hairspray it afterwards. Maybe this will be the answer for the um, for the for what to do with it. Wow! Like, what can I tell you? This is out of this world. Like, I love it so much, so much that it's I can't even say anything. I think it's so pretty. Wow. That yellow maybe not necessarily. Yeah, no. I like the peak of yellow in on the letters, the actual letters. Mm-hmm. Definitely, definitely. And the reds too. That's it. I'm leaving this as it is and we have to take a photo for <laughs> for the channel members. You can join it too if you wish. And I'm gonna be thinking of the... What can I do for the... Um, whoa! What can I do for the focal point to it? It's unbelievable. Um, I don't know. I, I really cannot tell. And I have the elements here still from the package. But I just don't know if it it's fits the right one. But you know what? I may discover something quite new here, and I may just in love being starting to be in love with gesso mixed with pan pastels, guys. How crazy is that? I wish to hear your minds right now. What you thinking? What for you could be this wow effect of it? of a um, focal point. I don't know. All I can hear and see is butterfly. <laughs> of course. But I don't know. I'm gonna leave it for now and have a good thinking about it and just... Do you know what? Even as it is... Guys, if you really look at it, it's art on its own just as it is. Just a title maybe. And we have it like a gorgeous canvas that you can hang just as it is. I'm smiling hugely because you uh, maybe you do know that <laughs> I was quite like hmm okay keep going Marta keep going <laughs> uh, yeah so I I just I just so love it love the technique I just love the technique of mix of those colors with just unbelievable effect <laughs> Okay, I'm back to you. And as you can see, of course I have butterflies, why not? These actual butterflies are from my pages which were actually... Uh, these are gift pages. I don't have them for sale. Uh, this is part of Antiquario uh, papers, but this page is given to customers. Not all of them, because I have different pages. So could be butterflies, could be doors, could be mm, flowers, could be mm, words. So you may have it, you may not. But I'm sure page with butterflies, everyone has some butterflies. So I have those two. And this one is also, uh, this one is also from my actual um, papers, which are the transparent one. And you know what? I really think. 
I could be wrong, but I really think I'm gonna take the cutter. Let me just get that and see if I can have if I can cut this. Mm -hmm. I like to create new reality, and I I I could be wrong. We shall see, or just imagine. I like them <laughs> both actually. I'll see what will match better. Uh, I'm going to cut them both. These are transparent ones. You wouldn't probably normally stick them like... Like normally would stick something. It's more like, like this, for example. Kind of standing out than the gluing down directly. But you can do whatever you like. Create a new reality. I like that. So let's see what's matching better. Oh, in the middle. So, I don't know. Just imagine it could be lovely here. Uh, I'm thinking to add them both, although it's like, like this could be nice as it is. This could be nice as it is, but I thought about both. Um, for some reason, of course, why not? <laughs> the more, the merrier, they say. Okay, just imagine. Like, it's a message, to guys. Just imagine. Like, imagine it. You know, imagine having this. I'm gonna make my butterfly-ish being happy together. That's my new thing recently, adding <laughs> triple butterflies to double butterflies, fourth quadruplets <laughs> butterflies. Uh, in, anyway, um, I've, it started from the, do you remember, we've done those um, butterflies cards on, I can't remember, on the transparent background, something, something. Anyway, doesn't matter right now. So either this will be cut in here and just glue down or something like that something along these lines which I like mm -hmm. or I wish to hear you now Actually, I think I prefer this one. It's, uh, oh yes, definitely. I'm looking in the camera, sometimes it helps. So what I'm gonna do is I will glue down my butterfly so that I know where they placed and how can I do things with the, I think it would be nice to have them something like that or maybe lower, a little bit lower, mm-hmm. So now we can, yes, I'm thinking to cover up that arrow a bit. Mm -hmm. I love that. Now I think I'm gonna grab my hot glue and this will go on the edge of it, like here. And it's gonna be nicely covered up. And I'm gonna try to kind of hold it so that it will dry this way. So I'm holding it up, yes, up a little bit. Uh-huh. Oh, I love that. One thing is that um, I think the best would be to also add gel medium because I think the actual, it can um, not perfectly glue down the mm, hot glue so what I will do is I'm gonna just go underneath it here and grab it a little bit 
and just there we go so just added extra gel medium we can't even see it right now which is great and well actually why do I yeah actually this looks great so I can just press it even like this and it will be good so why do I worry look just grab it mm. drag it like really firmly wow I I love it so much um, <sighs> Wow. Wow. Just imagine uh, what a good message that is. Yes, so I'm gonna grab maybe a little bit of gel medium here. Oops, where is it? Here. A little bit of gel medium here as well. Just so it would stay in place. Let's see. I don't know if it's gonna help or not. I'll try it. <laughs> Whoa! I love it. Um, what about some black splashes for a change? <laughs> I'm gonna get some paints. Two seconds. Mm, as always, traditionally, I would have my gouaches in place. And if you're wondering what's gouaches, gouaches are watercolors, but these are like a chalk effect, so they're a little bit different now. How can I actually, I will cover up my, <laughs> excuse me, I'm going to cover up my butterfly and I'm thinking to, yes, go there, but we need a little bit more. It's very much dissolving. I don't know why. Can you see that? I'm sure you can. I don't know why is that. Is it because of the... And I don't like it. Yes. Is this because... But I guess I leave it because I could make it worse than anything. Everything is dry, so I don't know why is this dissolving this way. Very not nice. Because of the powder? Interesting to be honest, very 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 much. Um, I will maybe then leave it as it is. I don't want to make it worse indeed. So I'm gonna get white splashes and we will see if the white splashes do the same. That'll be interesting to see. But I'd say yes, it will be the same, right? Yes. But I guess with white it just... No, actually. White... White is acting differently. Oh, interesting. Oh well. Maybe too much splashes right now. We'll see. We will try to rescue things and see. I like that. I really, really, truly like that. Maybe a little bit too much splashes or something. I don't know. You know what? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. A little bit of splashy Z on the actual butterfly too. Maybe here. Mm -hmm. I guess this black, the fact that it's strangely dissolving like, like this. I don't know. Maybe if I will clean it off a little bit will kind of help. Let's see. Just a little bit maybe to kind of calm it down maybe hmm. maybe it's a little bit better indeed you know what maybe it's a little bit better and something else came to my mind black ink and stamping we didn't do this but this could be nice let's see since we have plenty texts everywhere 
That is very nice. Sorry. I like that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? And even those disappear now, those dots. Not so perfect dots. Maybe it's even nicer right now, honestly. I like that. I would love some kind of lift here because it is not... Maybe if I heat it up it could lift slightly better. Looking good. The only thing as well is some really teensy splashes here on the butterfly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay, are we done? You tell me. I think we're done and I think it's gorgeous. No, actually one more thing I'm thinking we could do. Since we have the ink and where are my brushes for the, oh, the inking brushes. Let's see them. I have some, this smallie. How about, I knew it that there's a <laughs> gel medium, how about a little bit of that ink ink in the corners, like making it a little darker, you know, like, yes, I think so, I really think so, aha, uh -huh. I love that. Not everywhere, really corners. Let's try to, because oftentimes I'm, I'm overdoing my my actual um, inking. I'm not inker, I'm learning, hopefully more and more. So let's just do really corner corners, the corners corners. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is such a beautiful oh, project, except the <laughs> gel medium underneath it gluing down everything okay we need to clean everything so fast oh yeah because gel medium is underneath there that's okay that's okay wow i think we can call this one finished and done and i just love it oh <laughs> Wow, I'm so excited to hear what you think because this was quite a journey, isn't it? Quite an interesting uh, journey, really nice experience, I'd say very good challenge. So thank you so very much for challenging me. Uh, I truly enjoyed it. I was petrified and halfway down I was like, what on earth, Marta, are you doing? But I think we just have to keep going and, you know, make an art, enjoy the process. And not being stressed of course but if it's a little bit of um, extra extra kind of um, out of our comfort zone situation why not so I hope you liked it and enjoy this project with me and the whole process and I hope it gave you courage that not always we have to be perfect not always do we know what we're doing and it's good to try experiment and just never ever give up so I think more pan pastels in the future <laughs> I hope you liked it, so thank you so, so very much for this uh, evening spent together. I hope you liked it, enjoyed it, and I'll chat to you very, very soon. I love you, but I have to go. Just imagine. Bye-bye.